Hello and welcome back to Let's Find New York, Ontario and Western Railroad on the maps here. Uh, last time we left off in Campbell Hall, which is right here. If you zoom out a little bit, of course it's not going to do that. See how it says Campbell Hall here and Campbell Hall Junction here? That's why, because there's a junction of all the different rail lines here. You got on W crossing, and then you've got the branch going up to Maybrook, and you got a branch going to uh, uh, Montgomery. So, um, of course, Maybrook was huge back in the day. Come oh, away. There, sorry. And, um, now you go up to Maybrook real quick, right here. It doesn't look like much right now, but this was a huge yard back in the day. Huge marshalling yard between O&W and Erie. And uh, um, New Haven came out of here too. Lehigh, Hudson River, all that stuff. They all kind of came together there back in the day. Now there's only really one line left standing. As you can see they got some, um, it's like a lumber yard here that they service. But up here further, Maybrook. Here with me a little bit. Alright, here. Not sure. It's starting to look like a big yard there, isn't it? Come on. Uh, computer. Yeah, this is it. That's where it starts, the Maybrook yard. I mean, you can see, like, just a triangle coming out. I didn't zoom in. Right there. And this right here is now a yellow truck freight service. I don't think this building was there at all back in the day. And this whole big wide swath here. Giant marshalling yards. Classification yard or whatever you call it. And uh, you can even see there's a line here and there's a line here. It's pretty crazy. But um, at any rate, that's not really what we're doing here. I mean, O&W did a lot of business through Maybrook. In fact, I think that's what kept it going for as long as it did because uh, they had the coal from Scranton and they brought it into Maybrook and interchanged with New Haven that way. Brought it across the Poughkeepsie Bridge. Uh, but anyway, um, back to O&W here in Campbell Hall. And as we go down this way just a little bit, it's right here in the woods. There's 207, and I don't know if anybody's local from the area. This is where it goes under the Graham line. This line here is the Graham line, and uh, you can see it better this way. Where you go through a bit of a tunnel, and then it curves to the right, and you can go up 416 up towards uh, Montgomery. Anyway, here's O&W, and, and this is the Graham line. This is the only railroad line that's really left now. And you can see right here, the bridge is still there, which is awesome. This is where the Graham line crosses O and W. O and W runs underneath. And you can even see down there that little concrete block kind of looking thing. That's a little concrete culvert, box culvert, I think, that lets the water from this creek run through. And this area was known as ponds on the O and W. I'm pretty sure. I'm guessing because of the big ponds here. Anyway, let's keep following. I think I have to stay at this angle for a little while because some angles, uh, you can't zoom in nice. Come on. <laughs> trying to breeze through this stuff a little quicker, but my computer's not being nice. You can see the Graham line here has this nice arch bridge. And O&W had a, I think, a regular steel truss bridge here one time. If I were to spend enough time here, eventually I would be able to find a footing. Like right there. Yeah. Let's see. Uh -huh. Yeah, right there. See that ledge? That's where the bridge was. Let's see if we can look north again. I think we can. Uh, kind of. And here it is. Can you can see the cut through the greenery. And this is Stony Ford. 
right here. Uh, there was a station, there was a milk station here and whatnot. Uh, the railroad's high up here. Uh, there's even like an old concrete block of a road grate crossing that crossed over the top. It's weird. But it does look really cool when you go here to Stony Ford and you can see all the foundations and stuff. And uh, there's no station still left there, but it's still pretty cool. And then here alongside Stony Ford Road, where the OW is, if you're driving Stony Ford Road and look over, you can see it pretty clear. It's pretty cool. There's some culverts along the way that you can see. And here there's a couple houses that cut into it a bit, but not too bad. That's a stage road, and then this is a little dirt road called Slaughter Road. And here, the o w crosses Slaughter Road and this little creek next to it at the same time. This little bridge here. Now, I used to be able to drive here on this little road to see this bridge, and it was pretty cool looking with the creek and everything. But unfortunately, within the last couple of years, they tore down the bridge. I guess somebody finally got the rights to it, and they figured, hey, that's a lot of steel hanging up there with a lot of money attached to it, so uh, they took it out. They took out the bridge, and they took away this whole part of the bank. I'm guessing maybe somebody got access to this property, and they're going to build something or whatever, which is really sad, because that was intact until not too long ago. And then, uh, although we're coming up on a on a part where home oh, dubs are really wiped out. First right here at Goshen Turnpike, uh, this was Crystal Run Station here. But see all this right here? This is uh, Tet Concrete right here. And they wipe it out pretty good. I mean, you know, it comes through here and you can see all the concrete trucks parked right along the right of way pretty much. But even something like this, if you know, you were trying to rebuild it or whatever, there's room to try to make something work. But in a second there won't be. Uh, and it's too bad too because concrete place is really good to haul to with a railroad who can bring in all the raw stone and stuff. But anyway, here it is right here. Trucking along, and then up, oh, what happens? Interstate 84, probably one of the reasons I believe why this, uh, the state liquidated O&W so quick, because uh, they wanted to build their interstates, and here's 84, wipes it out completely. O&W ran right through here. And then uh, when we get up further into the Catskills, you'll see um, 17, the quick way here. It, it wipes it up way up there, wipes it out. Uh, Past Liberty. Uh, but anyway, O&W is like right here-ish. Like this whole interchange and everything. It would be impossible to try to rebuild O&W here. Because they just wiped it all out and put in their interchange and everything. Here it is. That's where you can pick it up again. But you know, this is a hill and everything and I'm not sure how it went along the side of the hill, but the landscape's completely different now. Yeah. But anyway, uh, here we go. Here's Mechanicstown Town O&W Station, which is still there. Uh, somebody bought it back, I don't know when, but they turned it into the restaurant, the Rusty Nail, here on Dunning Road. Uh, they actually turned the station, I think, 90 degrees. I think it faced the road. You know, and built, and, you know, put a ton of money into it, built the addition for the restaurant and whatnot. And, um... I guess it was good for a while, but it, as you can tell, it's been empty for probably, I bet, 10 years now. It's a real shame because it's a real nice building, and who knows how bad it is now that it's been empty for so long. And it's going to eventually get torn down. It's just a matter of time now. It's, it's sad. But anyway, here we go across Dunning Road, and, uh, and then it gets kind of wiped out coming up. We're coming into Middletown now, by the way. And I'll zoom out a little bit and show you exactly where we are. This is Dunning Road. This is, you know, um, the Dunning Plaza there. You know, Home Depot and whatnot. There's the Galleria. This is Middletown. And there's Shut Road. Wipes it out pretty good right here. Might not. <laughs> Doesn't wipe it out as much as 
84, but it, it, it ran like right along here. I think this line right here is it. And then this bus access road from Mechanicstown School, I think that's it. Because here it is, this is where it goes under East Main Street. And this building right here, it's, um, it's a furnace man, C.R. Wolf. That, for Linux furnaces, uh, that was a trolley building back in the day for the old Middletown trolleys. And I guess they would go in and out over on W track probably through the, you know, underneath East Main Street and whatnot. Uh, either that or they had their own lines going right in the street. I don't know. I don't think it's much of a coincidence though that it's right next to the O and W. Uh, they did build something here. These these pictures are pretty old, actually, probably about three years old at least. They did build something here, but the O and W is still that you know right of way is still there. It's low there. It's very low. You can see the water because it has to go under East Main Street here. Uh, zoom out. Like, uh, yeah, and then from here back in the middle town. It's in it's in good shape. It's it's all there. It's it's funny how sometimes it's wiped out, sometimes it's just still there, perfect. Like right here, it's coming in. And, uh, I come into Middletown. Uh, this is, you know Beers Drive and all of that brick pond. Uh, back. And then here's uh, Phillips Street. There used to be a bridge over that. Um, one of the bridge abutments is still there. This one you can f see facing this way. This one's gone. And the reason why this part of O&W is in such good shape is um, Orange Rock when Utilities keeps it up to work on their power line. Here it is coming in. Now, when we zoom out here, I want to show you something. This is Janung Street, and <laughs> we've got like a big letter A shape of, of tracks. Now out of all of this, the one that looks kind of the most spindliest tiny track, it looks like it wouldn't be used at all, this one right here that I'm tracing with the mouse, that is Middletown and New Jersey Railroad, it's a little short line. And that is the only one out of all of this that you see here that there's still track on, it's still being used. Like this is the Erie main line that goes into the ocean from here. That's gone. It was ripped up in the 80s, and this is O and W ripped up in the by the 60s. That was gone. But here, this little one right here is M and N J. It's still there. It's still being used. I actually worked there for a while, and um, that's where it crosses the Erie main line. And I think they just had to work on that bridge. And, um, and there's a siding that goes back in here. This is Orange and Rockland Utilities, but if you follow it back this way, this is Gem Pack. They make uh, plastic containers like styrofoam and whatnot, and you can see the three hoppers here. This is the only business that Middletown in Jer New Jersey has. Well, had at the time. They've picked up a lot more business recently. They picked up the other branches um, up to, from Campbell Hall. They picked up trackage rights over that to go up to Montgomery and Walden and down to Warwick. So they picked up a lot since then, but when I, when I was working there anyway, this is all they had. You know, it was, it was two trains a week and, and that was pretty much it. And uh, yeah, these pictures are old. You can still see all the flat cars lining in the tracks here. Uh, I'm not going to go into what that was all about, but it was stupid. <laughs> Let's just keep it at that. And um, Anyway, here's Owen W coming into Middletown. And here you've got M and NJ, Owen W, and Erie Mainline all running parallel to each other through Middletown, which is pretty awesome. Like they all are interchanged here in the yards. They're M and NJ yards now. And, um, you know, there's the cars going to Gem Pack right there. Some more flat cars. Uh, see here at Sprague, you can see M and N J still here, and this is where O and W was. Now, see this bridge here that M and N J is using? That was actually an O and W bridge over here. And um, when M and N J's bridge started falling apart, and O and W was already gone, 
they just slid O and W's o over and used that, which caused a lot of issues with these switches, actually. But um, that's been resolved now since they're rebuilding this whole yard. And, um, this is M and NJ's little red station here, which is probably one of the oldest stations that's been in continuous use with freight railroading. And if you zoom in right here, see this little red truck here? Well, it's not really little, but it's a 91 Chevy Blazer, and that is my truck. <laughs> that's when I was working there. That's, that's like three and a half, four years ago, maybe. So, yeah, these pictures are pretty old. And probably, maybe three years. Yeah, it's, it's not that long because, uh, come on up here. Okay, now, at East Main Street... MNJ is over. It's just O and W now. Of course, nowadays it's Norfolk Southern. They call it the Crawford Branch. But you come through here, and all these crossings. This track is in pretty rough shape. I mean, NS I think just started fixing it up a bit. But I know when I was working there, they were just creeping over this track because it was so rough. Uh, here, right here most probably one of the most important things O and W here is their headquarters in Middletown, O and W station. And it's still existing, uh, surviving along, but it's in pretty rough shape as you can tell. The, um, it was okay until, you know, well, probably I don't know, four or five years ago now, uh, there were a bunch of bums living in there, you know, sneaking in and whatnot. And they decided it would be a good idea to light a fire to keep warm inside a, you know, 100 plus year old wooden structure building. The outside is brick, but inside is wood. So, uh, big, huge fire. I mean, you could see it from towns away. It was so bad, the black smoke. But the firemen were really good in containing it to the back third of the station, like, like from around here back. I think here back. And so you can tell this tower is completely burned out. It's gone. But they saved the whole front part of the building and now, as I saw in the paper recently, uh, Hudson Valley Clinic, some kind of health clinic, has bought this building from the city for like a dollar. You know, the city got it because the other guy reneged on it, and, and then uh, the clinic got it. And they're going to rebuild it into offices, which is awesome. That means the building's going to be preserved. And I'm pretty sure part of the deal was that they can't mess with the brickwork. Like, they can't cover it up with stucco. They can't knock down part of the building that got damaged. They've got to they've got to build it, at least on the outside, the same way it was. Which is just great. I'm just, you know... For for years, we, we were sure it was just going to get tore down, or the damn bums would get back in there and burn down the rest of it. But uh, it looks like it's going to going to get fixed up. I mean, he here you can see all the damage. This was the worst part of it. This is where it all burned out. And, uh, but, uh, hopefully that's going to get all fixed up and that'll be great. And it's such a nice building. I mean, it should have been fixed up a long time ago. I mean, I think when the fire happened, there were still a couple of little businesses in there. But I mean, you know, back in O&W's heyday, they had a big, huge restaurant there because O and W didn't have dining cars, so they would stop in, in Middletown for like 10, 15 minutes and let the passengers get off and grab a quick bite to eat. But, um, yeah. Okay. All right, that's enough on Middletown O and W station. I still got the shops to get to. So there's the O and W station. Uh, wow, Winsner, St. Joseph Cemetery, and then here. Now this is really important too. This is rally lumber now. But back in the day, this whole block here and going back is all O&W shops and yards. Well, these are all the shops here. Like, see all these buildings? Those are O&W shops. I don't remember which building is which right now off the top of my head, but it's all shops. I have a book where it's all laid out. And see, there's a, still a track right here. Probably the only track that's really left that goes into the side of that building. And uh, I remember there were rumors for a while that we were going to pick up a customer in there, but it never happened. Yeah. But Rally's is here, and that does get serviced by Norfolk Southern. 
and around here where the lumber yard is now, that is where the turntable used to be in Roundhouse for the old steam days. Um, that's the only thing that really got torn down out of all this. So all the other shops and buildings are still really there. Like this one right here with the funny roof. That is the paint shop and it's built like that to let the fumes of the paint get out through the, the roof in a certain way. And you know like this long building, anywhere around here where you see long buildings, that's, that's why because it was for the shops. You know, all different car body shops, engine shops, you know, they could take a whole engine down to the little pieces and put it back together. You know, here's another building here. All owned up, you know, this is their headquarters for the whole line. And uh, then over here, see, this is a scrap yard now, a Teplitz, I think. But this, at one time, was a uh, yard for coal. And I'm, and I'm telling you, it's crazy when you see the pictures of this whole area. All the way back, I think even through this building wasn't here, and then it comes back in. That was all coal storage, like like just hundreds of coal cars, coal hoppers, just all piled up here. Pretty crazy, really. Pretty cool. Yeah. So that's that's O and W headquarters in Middletown there. I'm I'm glad to see how much of that is still around the shops. And then we're coming here down the line and uh, here we're coming up on four story junction and it's called that because this is the Graham line here same line we saw over at Campbell Hall and they had to cut through four layers of rock I think you know with dynamite in order to blast this line through I think that's why it's called four story I saw that in the newspaper recently but anyway um, all that's really left of track is where it comes down here and it joins up with Graham Line. And then right here, if you stayed straight instead of going down the Graham Line, that's Owen W Main Line. And as you can see, the bridge is gone. I think they only took it away maybe in the 80s or 90s. And that's where Owen W takes off from there. Okay, well that was Middletown, and let me check on my time real quick. I know that took a while. Yeah, 22 minutes. All right. I will see you next time.